Oh God, Mark. Give me the Crayola. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And do it right this time. I can't do much. This is like how teachers try to explain what? it to me. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you doing? Loafing. Where? Loafing. So, today we are going to check out more Abbott and Costello funsies. I had a good time last time watching them. It was super fun. This time I'm going to watch two videos of their sketches, two classic sketches that were suggested to me by you guys in the comments. As always, do check there for ideas, so let me know in the comments your thoughts, ideas, plans, let's go. No. Before I get into the video, do be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, otherwise your Christmas is not going to be merry and bright. No, no, because you just didn't like and share and comment and subscribe. They're all free. But if you want to check out Patreon and channel membership, you could do that too. Also, I have a second channel. There are things going on over there. Mm. Okay, this first bit is called $28, I believe. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You owe me back room rent. Now, don't get excited. How much is it? You owe me 13 weeks at $7 a week. Tidy sum, isn't it? Pardon me just a minute. Sure. Uh, Lou. Uh, here's $28. Cheap. Oh, Give him that old routine of ours, you know, 7 into 28, 13 times. Mm. Oh, God, Max. Give me the Crayola. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and do it right this time. I can't do much. Make it snappy. Okay. Uh, Mr. Landlord. Yeah? Are you smoking an army blanket? Just a minute. You owe me 13 weeks at $7 a week, and that happens to be a lot more than $28. Well, that comes to $28. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. Do you mean to say that you can prove that 7 times 13 is 28? Well, it's got to be. Certainly it is, because Mr. Rabbit and I, that, that, that's $28. That's what you get. Okay. I have a notoriously terrible math. 7 times 13, okay? So, I know the easy one is 7 times 11, which is 77. 7 times 12 is... I have a master's, but it's all word related, not mathematical. I can't do numbers. 77 plus 7 is... 84 plus 7... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 91. By my probably wrong calculations, it's $91. If you can prove it, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will give you the room rent for nothing. You will? But if you don't prove it, you owe me double the back rent. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Okay. Do you deal. have any Crayola on there? Crayola? Never mind. I got it. Oh, you have? I got the Crayola. The 7 and the 28 is going to come out 13. That's your way. That's my way. And it's got to come out right. Now, first, I put down a 7. Jesus, now, right on the wall. I'm going to divide the 7 and the 28. Yeah. I put a 28 there. Okay. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> now, here we go. 7 into 2. 7 will not go into 2. It will no. not. That's a very big 7 to push into that little bit of 2. As you say it is. We ain't going to hurt that little 2, are we? Of course you won't. So we take the 2. Open your hand. Yes. And I put that 2 right there. I say okay. keep it. But don't drop it and don't lose it. Now, 7 into 8. Once. Once. I put the one over here, one over there. Now, we're going to carry the seven because it's very big and it's getting heavy on my shoulders and I'm going to drop the seven <gasps> under there. This is like how seven teachers try to explain one. it to me. One. I put the one down there. Mm -hmm. Now it comes. Would you mind opening up your palm of your hand, please? I would like to use that two. Open it up. Give me that two. You've had it long enough. <laughs> so funny. Right now, seven into the 21. Three times. That's right. Seven into the 28. Thirteen. Oh. Wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have to prove this even better than that. You can prove it very easily by multiplication. You mean you want me to multiply it? No, no, not multiply, multiply. <laughs> multiply. Multiply. All right, all right, all right. Multiply it. Seven times 13 is Prove 28. it. Go seven ahead. Times, now, first, we've got to put down a 13, right? Right. There's a 13. Times 7. Times 7. Right. 7, seven weeks times 13, right? 3 times 7, seven is times 21. Three, 21. 21. 7 times 1. 7. 7. 7 and 1. 8. And 2 to carry. 28. <laughs> oh my god, he would have me full. I will do the adding, then there'll be no mistake. Yeah? All right? <laughs> Twenty-eight dollars here. <laughs> All right, sure. Now, go ahead. If you had it, go ahead. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Ah! Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. That's so clever. I. Ah, uh, no, you'd have me. I can't do it. 
Can't do math. Okay, this next one is called Loafing. Just as I can. What is this all about? What's the matter with you? I'm out all day long looking around for work. Did you say you were out all day working? I was out there looking for a job. Did you get it? Yes, I got a job. Well, good I had to get a job. You don't want to work. What are you doing? I got a job in a bakery. Good. What are you doing there? Loafing. That's... <laughs> oh, boy. What are you doing? Loafing. Where? Loafing? In a bakery. You working? Well, certainly. Doing what? A loafing. Well, that's what I was doing here. I was just taking these. I was... No, 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 no. That kind of loafing. You're just a lazy idiot. Got was... this here kind here. I was taking it easy, same as you. I work when I loaf. <laughs> How can you work and loaf at the same time? Why not? Can they... you do that? That's what they pay me for. They pay you for what? To loaf. How did I pay you for loaf? I think there might be a little something going on for my head here. Is loafing terminology for like lying around? I'm thinking it must be. And then also because he's making bread. Okay. So you gotta do I'm something. in a baker, so I'm loafing there. You just go to the work in the baker store and you don't do a thing. And oh, yes, oh, yes. How much do they pay in the baker store a for loafing? A dollar and a half an hour. For loafing? The union man. I belong to the union. I'm loafing here. I ain't getting a nickel for it. Well, you're not supposed to get any money for that kind of loafing. Well, can I loaf there, would you? I should say not. You've got to join a union. i got to join a union of loafers? You can't loaf without uh, belonging to the union. Well, what do you think of that? Well, well, you mean I got to join a union in order to loaf? Well, certainly. I don't see nothing, but I was loafing here without the union. No, loafing. you are not loafing here. You can't loaf here. You can't loaf here. You got no dough. I got dough. no dough. That's why I'm loafing, because I got no dough. Oh, no. If you had no, I got loaf. Loaf. But then you'd have to get a cotton join the union. You mean you, you got to have dough to loaf? Well, sure. How can you loaf without dough? That's very hard. I've been trying to. You can't do it. I mean, you, gotta, you, know, you can't do. You can't do anything. I can't retire right now. I gotta have a job. Sunday, come down to the bakery. I'll show you how to loaf. I do real loafing. In fact, you know, now you, I never told you this. My whole family were loafers. No kidding. Sure. My my father was a bigger loafer than me. He was. Yeah, he was one of the best loafers in the family. I, I think you're a better loafer than your father. Oh, I know that now because he taught me how to loaf. You know you're a bigger loafer than your father. Right? Oh, sure, sure. You're a bigger loafer than me, too, ain't you? Well, you're no loafer. I'm not. No, certainly not. But you are. You're just a lazy, no good for nothing, whatever oh. you want. How can I be lazy? You just told me I'm no loafer. You're a loafer, not me. But I get paid for loafing. You don't. That's what I don't understand. Working in a baker store, I'm getting paid a dollar and a half an hour for loafing. That's right. This, I don't understand that. You don't understand? What is it? to understand? I don't understand you working and loafing and getting paid for it. Wait a can minute. I get a job there? Do no. the same? No, I can't get a job there. Not to belong to the union. All you do is talk, 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 and that's all I hear. You don't say nothing, loafing. I don't say anything. No. Look, you go to the union. You get a card. You go to the baker. They give you a dough. You, you need the dough first. I need the dough, and how I need the dough? We need dough to get something nice. I need the dough in order to loaf. I need the dough in order to loaf. Uh, give me some dough, and I'll get something to eat in the you joint. Can't get any dough. You poor can't Bingo. Loaf. I don't know what I'm going to do to him. He's going to look for other parents. Bingo. Leave me. Wait a minute. I want to ask you just one thing. What? What makes a bloom go up? Hot air. What's holding you down? <laughs> I pulled a joke. Come just a minute. Get your get your coat. Go ahead. Oh no. Well, that was super fun. Are all their jokes about mystery? Like confusing things because the three jokes i've looked at from abbott and costello are all about like one person thinks one thing and then it's another thing 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 kind of thing remember earlier in the video when she said she was good at words and not maths really putting that degree in english to good use there i really like them they're super fun shout out today to a couple of very special people hello chewy here coming at you I just got in from the rain and I have my head on this hot water bottle and I have Chewy's special blanket. I'm also in Chewy's editing bed. Did you know Chewy had one? Shout out to all these lovely people. These are the members of my squad. My squad have some pets and sometimes I talk to them every single month. It's very, very fun. I hope you guys are nice and warm and dry wherever you are in the world. Lots of love from Chewy. That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye. Hello. You were being very cute in the background. Don't you? You want to come and cut those? Oh, that's a waggy tail. Do you want me to come and get you? Two seconds later. Yeah, did Chewie go and see a Christmas tree? Did you go and see a Christmas tree this week? Chewie likes the... Oh, oh. thank you. Chewie likes the baubles. He really likes the baubles, don't you? Yeah, and the light.